YouTube. My name is Shay. Welcome to my channel, Manifesting with Karmic Psychal. Here I discuss manifesting the life that you deserve to have, spirituality in general, and of course, my journey through ascension. So if you can see from the title of this video, I have finally got around to making the next life path video, okay? We are here with the life path 11. So if you are new to my channel, thanks for joining me. I'm so glad to have you. Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like this video if you enjoy my content. If you're part of the spiritual family, welcome back. I am so happy to be with you. And we are going to jump right into the Life Path 11. So before I get started, I just want to preface why it took me so long to do this video i actually really didn't have a good reason as to why it took me so long to do this video until i started re-looking at the information re-studying the information for life path 11. and it the simple answer is that i wasn't ready um i wasn't ready spiritually physically emotionally to take on the energy of the life path 11 and i realized this once i started reading this information and it clearly described the space that i am in currently like literally to up to this last week so i had to be in alignment with your energy before i can take it on because it is so powerful your and your vibration 11 is so beautiful it's just chef's kiss okay so first i just want to shout out my girl i hope i'm saying your name right mara but she commented on one of my videos earlier this week in response to somebody else and she was like, girl, where's the video? Like, I've been waiting for this. And honestly, that inspired me to get back to making a video because um, one, I really wasn't getting the feedback I wanted for my channel and I got bills to pay. So it takes a lot of not only time, but energy to go into creating content for YouTube. So honestly, like I'm getting so emotional because I'm in this energy honestly i feel um like so heartwarmed that you care enough about my content and watching it to want to see it and for me to hurry up and come out with the next video like shout out to you for supporting my channel and i fuck with you and anybody else that is part of the spiritual family that's commenting liking my video thank you guys so much i really appreciate you and i'm really gonna try and get back into the rest of these videos so i want to start with what am i calling life path 11 you guys are the visionary okay you guys see the unseen you know the unknowing your gift is clarity life path 11 i mean outside of your energy just being so beautiful and so angelic like literally that's the word to describe your energy life path 11 is angelic okay but what comes with that is a lot of heaviness and what the reason behind that is that you are a master number the master numbers are 11 22 and 33 and with a master number you guys just have a greater soul purpose um, you have a big impact that you were sent to this earth to make during this lifetime. And with that comes a lot of heavy pressure. You feel it energetically. You probably put a lot of pressure on yourself to, um, com to do certain things or basically to live up to your true potential. As a master number, you just have so much potential and it can be really difficult sometimes when you know that you have the potential but it's still not being met so you know what i just want to say your message you guys is to never give up never give up on yourself be patient and allow your divine energy to guide you i'm going to talk about some qualities within the life path 11 that i feel like were very necessary to take note of 
and I'm gonna jump right in. The first thing, Life Path 11, you guys should be extremely authentic. It's very necessary for your purpose because you are like a mirror. And when I was taking on this energy this morning of the 11, my mind's eye kept showing me it um, sideways. Like instead of it being an 11 standing up, my mind's eye was giving me like a division symbol. And it spoke to me on so many levels. The first thing was that it was giving me the equal sign and equality. And also that you guys carry the energy of the life path too. So you might also want to check out the life path too. Okay, sorry. There was like a really loud truck in in my parking lot. So I just wanted to wait until it was done before I continue. So I seen it as an equal sign. And the first thing I just was thinking of a division sign and it was giving duality. It was giving me the number two. And... You guys carry the energy of number two. So if you haven't seen that video already, then you should go ahead and check it out. So it was just telling me about this duality and how necessary it was in your purpose to find balance within yourself, within your emotions and within your thought process to find balance in how it is that you're making decisions and how it is that your intuition is in alignment with those decisions, okay? You wanna always use your intuition, which I'm gonna get more into. So you guys are so authentic and you have to be authentic. You have to be yourself no matter what because people are looking at you like an example. You guys are like a mirror to other people's energy. If you watch the Life Path 2 video, then you seen in that video, I said something about um, how they are meant to make other people better. You guys have that same purpose, but it's in a different way. You are a reflection to other people and what it is that they need to be and need to see in themselves. So when you are out being your most authentic self, other people are seeing that and they're inspired by that. And they want to also do the same thing and to live a life more like yours. Life at 11, you guys have a very spiritual purpose. And if you haven't discovered that now, it's time to wake up and get into it really quickly because this is part of who you are. You guys will be the life path that is most likely to have um, extraterrestrial or even, um, what do you even call that? Like ghost experiences, like when you were younger. You guys are the people who really are in touch with the other plane you guys are very much giving pisces energy the veil is so thin with you you are literally a human channel for angelic energy and divine energy and this is what i was saying about this this vibration that you guys carry it is time to trust yourself life path 11 trust that you know what is best for you Get to know your higher self if you haven't already and really start getting into touch with yourself about who you really are deep inside and your connection to the spirit realm because that's definitely a part of your purpose in some way or form, okay? So the next thing about Life Path 11 is that you guys are extremely ethical and when I say that, I don't mean it in the context of like an ethical business. But what I mean is that you guys stand up for your morals and every decision that you make should be included with your 
what's in alignment with it with what you not only what you want but the things that you morally care about like it's very necessary that you only participate in the things that are for you and you will know because you have that intuition you have better intuition than any other life path stop kidding yourself when you get that gut feeling you better listen you guys are extremely sensitive sensitive to other people's energies sensitive to spirits sensitive with your emotions you guys are extremely sensitive because you carry this such godlike energy you're very compassionate and empathetic people um but with all of that comes a lot of anxiety not only from those experiences that you might have had in the past like you might have a lot of fear of spiritual things um or you know, you just might have anxiety as far as like socializing and stuff because all those different energies, you're an empath. You're taking it on all the time. It's really interesting to me because the cards that are in alignment with the energy of Life Path 11 were the cards that kept coming out to me randomly. Last week, I went on a hike and I was coming back from the hike and I seen these two trees and they were in my mind's eye they were pillars and i was standing between them and it was just i was the high priestess i was the high priestess and every time i read myself in this next coming week the justice kept popping out i gave myself um an ancestor reading and that was the card that was on, on the bottom of the deck the justice card so this is like literally your energy. I was swimming in it. So let's jump into why you guys have two tarot cards and not just one. First thing is that your energy just doesn't align with just only one card because you are the vibration of the number two and then one and one. So you have both of these energies. The first thing is the justice card just sim symbolizes like your logic, okay? And also it symbolizes your connection to the crown chakra because you guys are so receptive to that energy, okay? Um, another thing is about the justice card is the truth. And what I said about you guys being authentic is living in your truth. And also about you guys being ethical is also exposing the truth. These are the type of things that you're going to be caught to do. These are going to be things that in your own field, in your own way, that you're somehow going to be, you know, speaking truth unto other people. And it's going to have to do with things that are ethical or not ethical or whatnot. So... You guys also have had like probably some traumatic experience, not just spiritual ones, but just generally in life. You guys have probably had a lot of tough experiences. Um, and I want you to know that everything that you went through was for a purpose. That was the message that has been coming to me all week. Everything was for a purpose. And every time that I had a realization about something, I just knew that all of those things happen exactly for this moment to come into fruition. So who you are right now, this is just a testament to all the things that you've been through. And although they were hard, one, you were always created strong enough to get through it. But you had to go through that so that you could show other people how to be living in their truth. It was just all part of your purpose, okay? And one day you will understand why why it happened and that it was all worth it. It will all be worth it. But just know that all of that has brought you strength and wisdom that other people wish that they could attain, okay? And another thing about both the justice and um the high priestess is they both symbolize balance and that's what i was saying about the 
the two numbers being like this to me about it being equal and it's very important for you guys as an 11 to have balance in your life um to have balanced emotions balance in your schedule to have a routine and most importantly what you need balance in is your relationships because just like two 11 is a relationship number relationships are going to play a huge part in your purpose because like i said you're meant to be a mirror to other people but with having a lot of relationships and especially traumatic ones you're going to have to learn how to have boundaries uh, how to maintain those boundaries because otherwise you'll be taken advantage of you'll be used you'll be manipulated and that's not a place that you want to find yourself to be at and you've probably already experienced that and i know you don't want to go back to it now the high priestess her energy is strictly intuitive okay and she just vibrates on the friction the frequency of attraction um to everything everything is attracted to her energetically and you guys very much carry that same energy that's why it's so important for you to be your most authentic self because when you're out here being other things other people pretending to be the people like people that you are around you're attracting people that are like that but when you just finally just be your real self the people that you will be attract will be the people that are meant to be in your life they're going to be people that can support you that can reciprocate your energy um, you know, that you can have balanced relationships with, that you can be emotionally vulnerable with. And it's very important um, for a Life Path 11 to be with somebody who is able to communicate their emotions properly because that's something that is really difficult for you guys. So you need somebody that is going to be able to help you um, learn and develop and communicate a little bit better because communication is a huge part of your purpose. So I'm going to jump in and talk about some celebrities that are Life Path 11s. Like all of my other videos, I like to highlight Black people because I am Black and I feel like we are not celebrated enough. You can look up on the internet and find any of a life path if you want to see other people in other ethnicities. But here on my channel, we're keeping it black. The first two people that have life path 11 are a couple, uh, Michelle and Barack Obama. Um, and then we have Michael Jordan. Also, who is 11 is Alice Walker. If you guys don't know who that is, she was the first black woman to win a Pulitzer Prize. She is an author and also an activist for black people. Uh, CeeLo Green, Colin Powell, who was the first black secretary of state. Etta James, Centoya Brown. Um, if you guys don't know much about her, I'm going to double back a little bit on her story in just a second. And then Mel B. So uh, with all these life paths, a lot of them have generally undergone some type of trauma within their life. Whether it was at a young age or something crazy happened to them later on in life. And this was a huge event that impacted them and kind of jump-started their spiritual journey or just their awakening that sensitivity within, within them to the other side. Um, so the first thing is Michael Jordan, if you guys didn't know, when he was 30 years old, his father was shot and killed when he was being robbed by a couple teenagers, okay? So that is a very traumatic experience, not only you know for the person that it happened to, but for the people in their lives. So that was very impactful. Um, and then I don't know if you guys ever seen Cadillac Records. This is one of my favorite movies. It has Beyonce in it playing Etta James. And Etta James has um, a drug and alcohol addiction. She is struggling, but she's so talented. She's like literally the embodiment of a Life Path 11 having so much potential and just the pressure of all of that crushing them and also allowing the trauma and the heartbreak of their past to 
hold them back from living up to that true potential because she was so talented. And of course, she has seen so much success, but not nearly as much as she could have had if she, you know, didn't have those addictions holding her back. You know what I'm saying? Um, Mel B, she actually went blind in one of her eyes after she had, a, I think, like a LASIK surgery or something. And that was also, I think, in her 30s. That was something that was impactful, that literally changed her life, changed the way that she thought and continued to move. She also had been in several different abusive relationships. These are all things that Life Path 11 are prone to if they're not honoring their true self and their boundaries um, and really saying no to red flags. Centoya Brown is somebody I really wanted to talk about. She put a book out, I think, last year, and this was actually a really amazing read. And if you're not a big reader, I suggest you like watching her interview from The Breakfast Club. But she was sentenced to prison um, because she was sexually assaulted and she protected herself. And, you know, by the grace of God that she got out of that situation, but how traumatizing is that? That you're literally just trying to protect yourself, stand up for your truth, and then you're being punished for it. A lot of this is what it feels like to be a Life Path 11. There's going to be some events in your life that knock you down. But as an 11, it's very important that you might fall down, but you always have to get back up. Even when life gets so hard and so difficult, it's okay to rest, but don't quit. Just don't ever give up. Some of the careers Life Path 11 have are an artist. Because you guys are so in tune and channel, such a channel, your creative abilities are unimaginable. I mean, infinite. Your creative abilities is sick, okay? So you guys make amazing artists, and I mean in any sense of the form. You could literally be a painter, you could be a director, you could be a writer, you can be an actor. Anything where you are displaying your art and creating something, yes, Life Path 11. Another thing you guys might be into occultism, and that could be, you know, anything like tarot. It could be something as witchcraft. It could even be what I was talking about earlier in the video as alchemy. Um, Life Path 11, you guys really want to check out your eighth house and see what you got going on in there. That might bring into what is related to in your purpose. And if you really want to know what's good with that, book a birth chart reading with me so we can go in your chart and see what's going on. Shameless plug. Another thing, since you guys are such amazing communicators, which I have not yet even to get into, you guys will make good translators um, or anything like that. Also, in PR or marketing, uh, because you guys are able to take that authenticity and just turn it out like that, you will be amazing in PR because you just have that inner knowing um, and trust for yourself to be in that type of field and attract people. Also, you guys would make amazing healers. Anything in the sense as like, it could be technical, like a doctor or a nurse, or it could even be something like a massage therapist, an acupuncturist, a counselor, you know, somebody that gives spiritual guidance. You guys will all be great in any of those fields. So you guys know it's time for a little bit of a drag. In all of my Life Path videos, I discuss both the shadow side and the light side. And today, I'm just going to talk about some qualities that you are prone to that you may need to work on that is going to help you bring you closer to your purpose and also some qualities that are amazing about you that you may not lean into enough. And if you did, it will bring you closer to your purpose. So... The first thing is very much like a two, you guys can be people pleasers, especially in your romantic relationships. Oh my God, Life Path 11s, you guys really are a partner that anybody would love to have because you're so romantic. You are a really doting lover, lover 
very caring, very empathetic. I mean, amazing. Okay. So with that, you always just want to care for people and give so much and you can tend to be a people pleaser. Um, you can do things for other people, but just make sure that it's never to the detriment of yourself. Anything, if you are giving to other people, don't give anything that you can't afford to not give back. That's like the best advice I can give to you as an 11. Um, you know, I go back to this reference all the time, but I'll just say it like you can only give 10% of your energy to any given thing or person in a day. So let's say that you have 100% of energy. Let's just be honest. You didn't sleep good last night and um, you skipped dinner also. So you're really starting at about 90% of your energy. So you wake up and the first thing you do is call somebody. That's already 10% of your energy right there. You're at 80%. You spend 10% of your energy on yourself getting ready. Say you have a great self-care regimen. You do that. Boom, bow. You get to work. You give them 30% of your energy. Now you're literally down to like 40% of your energy. And then you haven't even begun to fill yourself up with any energy at all. You haven't even took an energy back from anything or anybody at all. So at all times, you just want to be present with how much energy you're giving and how much that you're able to give back to yourself and really think about your relationships in your life and if they're also reciprocating that same energy that you give. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing that is really difficult for Life Path 11s before they really come into themselves is finding emotional balance. You guys tend to have a real emotional imbalance because you have this inner fight of what is real and what is imagined. And that's because you're constantly channeling energy from the universe. So your intuition is telling you one thing, but your mind is telling you something else. And then you're talking yourself out of doing things or even expressing your emotions because you're thinking them through instead of flowing them through. And it's going to be very necessary to you to find different outlets of how you can process your emotions, whether it is journaling, going to a therapist, you know, occasionally talking to friends, you know, venting, not draining running, working out, figure out what it is that you can do to support yourself as you feel those emotions. There's nothing wrong with being sad or angry. It's just the same as being happy or being in love. It's supposed to happen. It's natural. You're going to feel that. You just don't ever want to hold on to it. And when you refuse to express your emotions or communicate with them other with them with others, you just carry them around. You keep carrying them around. And then you have this heavy weight on yourself and you're not energetically aligned because, you know, your emotions is everywhere. You got to find a balance. And that brings me to the next shadow, which is the communication issues. Um, Life at 11s, you guys are a really misunderstood number. It's really hard for people to understand you because, like I said, you are... You are very spirit-like. So the way that you see things and process information is really different than most people. Um, you know, you might be one of those people who everybody thinks you're a conspiracy theorist or something, honestly, but they just aren't ready to receive that information. So when it comes to communication, one thing is, it's okay to speak your piece. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And another thing with communication is listening to understand and you know not to respond. Make sure you give people the opportunity to be themselves. You can't control everybody. You can't make everybody think the way that you do. So just leave some space for you to have peace in your relationships when it comes to communication. Um, Response over reaction. 
Sometimes you just need to take a few minutes to sit with yourself and how, see how you really feel about it before you respond to something. Because a reaction is just you letting your emotions get everywhere. Or a response is where you took some time to sit in your emotions, acknowledge how you felt about it, and then make a decision there forward. So that's a better way to meet more in, more balance with your emotions and your communication style. And that's another thing. Learn about communication styles. Learn about how you and your partner are communicating and how you can communicate better. The research is out there. All you have to do is look into it. Now, another thing about the Life Path 11 is the fears and the doubts. Earlier when I said that you guys tend to be anxious, um, it's because you do have a lot of fears and doubts. It's because you have that big soul purpose that is kind of weighing on you energetically, urging you to do something, to fulfill something. You guys cannot be fulfilled by material things. Um, you may have in the past or you might now buy a lot of things, accumulate a lot of things, but they never bring you fulfillment. It only gives you temporary happiness, a temporary moment of feeling good. But after you have it for a while, you want to know what else is there. And the thing is, what you're looking for cannot be bought. It is how it is that you're going to make your impact in the world. So do not let your fears and your doubts challenge you. Do not let them stop you or hold you back. Use them as motivation because if you're scared of something, um, it's probably different than what you're doing. It's probably not the same stuff that you always been doing, but change is difficult. It's not going to be easy to make changes, but as you make those little changes about yourself, you'll e eventually see that as you make those changes, you will eventually see that you are on the right path all along. And when I was channeling your energy this morning, Another message that came to me was that the path is the journey. There is no wrong or right path. You can have three paths in front of you and all of them would have been part of your journey. It would have been necessary and vital information, vital experiences that you had to go through, you had to learn from so that you can be in another place so that you can grow and you can change. And although those experiences might not be easy during the time, it's exactly what you needed and it's exactly what's going to take you to where you want to be. So you as a Life Path 11 want to start asking the right questions that's going to get you where you want to be, which is what? What can you do right now with the tools that you have to get what you want? That's another thing to... Um, that my guys was speaking to me because as I was doing this video, I mean, well, getting this information together, which I had to re re research all of the information, not only to channel your energy, but also to re remind myself because it had been so long since I even looked at the Life Path 11. I had already recorded this video, I made a card for it, I went back to do the card and then the card with all of the information was gone from the card it was like i had never did it it wasn't saved and it just because i wasn't ready to process that information so it's very important for you as a life path 11 to understand patience and that you will get where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there and if you remain present in this moment that you are right now exactly where you are there's nothing that you can do to change it. You will start to make the best of your life and create the change in your own life. Be the change that you want to see. So we're going to move on to your light side. These things that are so special about you that you want to exhibit more and live in your, your purpose of this. So the first thing as Life Half 11 is that you want to open up yourself. Because of those traumatic experiences that you've had, relationship problems that you have, you tend to close yourself off. But the thing about being closed off is when you're closed, you're, you can't receive anything. You can't receive abundance. 
You can't receive the love that you wish you had that other people never could give you. You can't receive success. So you have to allow yourself to open up. You have to really heal that heart chakra because this is your center, Life Path 11. You guys have to have this empty heart so that you can really ch channel that divine energy that is meant to flow through you. Um, you want to be open to relationships because you're meant to be in a relationships. These are big parts of your purpose. And Life Path 11s are very um, selective when it comes to who they decide to be with because they want to make sure it's right and because they are well at good at... Um, you know, following their intuition of what's going to be good and what's not going to be good for them. So when you do finally decide to be with someone, that's who you want to be with. And you can really, you know, be romantic and sweet to them. But just make sure that you are open up to it. Um, I was like telling one of my friends and she's a one, but. You know, she was saying that she was open to love and she was manifesting love, but she didn't she doesn't ever go out to go meet people. Um, she don't really make herself available. Um, she wasn't really romanticizing her life. It was like, sometimes we start to rent romanticize people or experiences that are not there yet, but it starts with romanticizing your own life, dating yourself, making yourself feel good. And then you're going to attract those people to you that can mirror your energy. I know you're picking up what I'm putting down life path 11. Um, Another thing about Life Path 11 is actually going back into what I was saying about being open to relationships is you guys tend to be very independent, um, like the energy of the one. And it's easier for you to want to be alone, one, because of the social anxiety that you possibly have taking on other people's energies and stuff. And then just like your past experiences, you kind of use it as a guard. Um, and you use independence as a guard, but one, it's okay to ask for help. It's, that's what other people are there in your life for. That's what human connections are meant for, to be there with and for each other. And like the life path to you guys um, can struggle with codependency. So it's very important that you continue to value your independence when you do decide to get in a relationship. Make sure that you're still maintaining your boundaries, like I said before, and also maintaining your own personal goals and things that you want and not giving those up for the sake of a relationship or even putting yourself second for the sake of a relationship because you guys like to give so much. Um, another thing about Life Path 11s is that you guys are excellent mediators. Um, you guys are excellent at having a non-biased perspective because I'm telling you, y'all are earth angels, okay? So you can really break down a situation for people. Um, you just want to make sure that one, you're minding your business when it's the correct time to mind your business. Don't be giving unsolicited advice or getting involved in things that don't necessarily have to have you in them. Things that's going to distract you from your path or your purpose. Uh, but it's a very qu good quality to have and something that you want to lean into because like I said, you guys are very ethical and it's very important that everything you do, you're considering what your morals are and you want to be able to mediate in situations and be able to be that bridging factor. That's like the two is almost... It's almost well the 11 is almost like a bridge if you looked at it like it was laying down and and that's what you guys are um one another quality that's really amazing about life path 11s is you guys are extremely sincere i mean to a fault you guys are just such genuine people part of it is because you live in your truth and you know truth and you expect the truth um but you guys just really don't ever let any life situations or your problems take that away from you. Don't ever let bad experiences turn you into a bad person. You don't have to start mirror and mimicking other people's energy that treated you bad. You don't like hearing you getting treated in a relationship. You move on from that situation and then you take your beautiful energy somewhere else that deserves to partake in it. 
Um, and if I didn't already make this clear in the video, you guys are extremely spiritual, extremely connected, not only to the universe and to God itself, you have God within you. It's very important in your purpose that you really find out more about that. Like I encourage you, whatever it is that you need to do, if it's to start reading books, you know, get more information on YouTube. If this was your start watching a life path video, what's next? What are what else next are you getting getting into? Because it's part of your purpose. You're you're meant to be channeling. So what are you channeling? And what's going to be the purpose of that? Start to connect with your higher self to figure out what it is that you need to give to the world. Now, I channeled a lot of information for you guys. So I'm just kind of go through and list and read the things that I channel. First thing that Spirit wanted you to know is to go socializing, which I kind of said before. Make sure that you're going out socializing, meeting new people. Life Path 11 is very important for you to partake in different, not only energies, but also ethnicities, backgrounds, um, all different type of people from different walks of life. So like if you're a cishet person, make sure you hang out with people that are part of the LGBTQ community. If, um, you know, you are a like glam girl make sure you hang out with some girls that are like more sporty or athletic or something you know what i'm saying just really be open to all type of different connections because all these different connections they're going to have something for you that you need you are just you're meant to have these different relationships it's very important and you want to make sure that those connections are meaningful and based off of things that are important to you um Make sure that you're making relationships with people that you can have long life relationships and friends with and they're willing to be reciprocative of you and what you have to offer. And make sure none of these connections pull you out of alignment. Um, if you hang out with four idiots, you'll be the fifth idiot. If you hang out with four millionaires, then you'll be the fifth millionaire. So that's the type of thinking that you want to have, Life Path 11. You want to really be thinking about the connections that you have and if they're really in alignment with your purpose. Are they supporting you and your purpose? Are they making you feel good? Are they building you up or are they tearing you down? And make sure that it's really in alignment with your morals. If it's certain stuff that you just don't fuck with, make sure you don't fuck with people that's not fucking with the stuff that you don't fuck with. If that's what you don't believe in, you don't mess around. Always have an open heart for understanding and compassion, but also don't get sucked and surrounded into a low vibrational environment just because you have compassion for those people. Know where you're supposed to be at. Always be in tune with your number one star player, like Cat Williams said, and that's you. Your number one star player is you. Check in with your energy. When you get up in the morning, how is Life Path 11 feeling today? What do I need? And after you get your needs met, then you can worry about other people. Just be you. This goes back to you being authentic. Just be you and that will attract your tribe. I already said that earlier in the video. The more that you embrace who you are, then the more that you are going to attract not only people, but your lifestyle. Everything that we speak and think into existence is what creates our reality. Our thoughts are what we decide to take action on, which creates our reality. So you just want to make sure that you're putting yourself in the position to have the right mindset because it's important. Uh, if it don't mind, then it don't matter. So what that means is your mind is a portal. And as you think about things, you are in connection with the universe that entire time. So you need to be careful what you say. Don't be going around saying stuff like I'm, don't say that. Don't go around saying like, 
I'll never find somebody to love me. You need to be in alignment with what you want as much as you can be. Try and be present in your own life. And part of embracing who you are is really waking up and connecting to your gifts and stuff like that. So you guys have a lot of gifts. You guys are very intuitive, very, in, very psychic, and do not be afraid of that. Don't be scared. Don't be trying to cut it off because of whatever past experiences you be had before. This is very important to your purpose. Even if you yourself are not going to be challenging, channeling energy of past spirits, to communicate with other people. If you're not a medium, you don't have to be a medium like Path 11, but you're so still supposed to be channeling information and giving it out in some way, whether that is through art, through healing, through magic. You guys are very magical people, very magical. And magic is real. If you guys haven't discovered that yet, I just, I'm I'm going to pin a comment and it's going to have some books down there. And if you serious and you want to unlock, pin, look in the pin comment. Um, And back what I said earlier is just be patient with yourself and take your time. All of these experiences that you had, all the trauma that you went through, Rome was not built in a day and healing is not linear. So you got to be patient with yourself and release some of those high expectations um, because when you have all those extra high expectations for yourself that you're never going to meet, it constantly defeats your confidence. And as a Life Path 11, that is the most important quality that you have that is going to lead you is your confidence, is being sure of yourself, being able to trust yourself and being able to lead with that. But... Just understand that it takes time to get there and be patient with yourself. Don't rush yourself. Don't be mean to yourself. Just give it some time. Another thing, you guys want to make sure that you are not sabotaging your life. This is something that I can personally relate to. And this is why I had to wait to do this video because I had to really one experience and have the realization that I was doing this myself to be able to talk about it to you. So self-sabotage basically is it is kind of a psychological problem because what happens is you've had experiences in your past and now your brain has warped to always think through those experiences. A lot of people who self-sabotage have PTSD. And what PTSD means that when you are triggered back to certain memories and experiences, it keeps you from being in your present life. It keeps you in that traumatized state. And when you're in a traumatized state, you cannot really accept the love that other people are trying to give you. You can't really live freely. You can't do anything because you're constantly waiting for something bad to happen. And I can say this because I do this and I'm trying to learn and be different from it. It's okay to be safe and to be happy. It's okay to ground yourself and to realize that you deserve all the things that you want. And just because you never had them doesn't mean that you can't attain or achieve them. And remember, all of those material things that you see other people seeking for and wanting that is not your calling, Life Path 11. That stuff's not going to make you happy. So stop trying to be like other people. Stop trying to think like other people. Want the things that other people want and get connected to what do you want. And stop b blocking yourself from true happiness and true fulfillment. In regular life, self-sabotage looks like I'm dating someone. They seem to really care about me. It's going pretty well. But I'm starting to have this feeling in the back of my mind like it's too good to be true or 
I don't deserve this love. And you might not be able to really acknowledge and come to the realization that you truly feel that way, but you will be doing things to sabotage the relationship on the surface. Like maybe not calling them back regularly, creating distance between you two, um, you know, just doing things to sabotage the relationship. And then when the relationship is over with, you're gonna say, yeah, I knew it was too good to be true. But it's like you manifested those things into your reality. So you have to be very careful, number 11, um, so that you're not just thinking things into fruition based off of self-sabotage. You know, another self-sabotage could be deciding not to do something that you know is going to be the betterment for your health like say if you're supposed to be on a specific regimen for your health whether it be medication or a hair routine it can be even as simple as that and you know that if you would just follow through on this one thing it will make your life a lot better even it might come to your diet or Whatever it is, you have to come to terms with what it is that you might be blocking from yourself and just try not to sabotage your life. 11, you deserve all the happiness that you give to other people, okay? You do. You deserve it. Make sure that you are not being hypercritical of yourself. You want to make sure that in, instead of criticizing yourself, that you're just self-reflecting. So criticism looks like if you made a mistake, you taking three days to say, oh, I'm so stupid. I made that mistake. Why did I do that? Huh. Where if you were self-reflecting, you would say, well, what led up to me making this mistake? Like, did I procrastinate and wait to the last minute? Okay, I need to be better at time management. And then in the very next day, you create a schedule and then you stay to that schedule moving forward. Those are the type of things that it's like self-reflection. Self-reflection is going to lead you into a space of solution where criticism is just going to lower your vibration and put you back in a, space, in a space of lack and fear and doubt. And that's not where you want to be at. Make sure that you are honoring your boundaries at all times. I've said that earlier, but it's really important that I just <clears throat> bring it back around because boundaries are going to be really important for you. It's going to make a huge difference in your relationships when you are handling your boundaries. And how do you know what boundaries you need? You need to ask yourself what's important to you. What is valuable to you in relationships? What do you need? Maybe you need a little bit more space. Um, maybe your boundaries look like not doing certain things like, you know, I need to take an hour after I get off of work to myself to rejuvenate before I can, you know, socialize or talk to anybody. Or maybe, you know, your boundaries look like putting your phone on do not disturb at 10 p.m. because enough was enough. Figure out what your boundaries are. What are the things? that you need to maintain peace in your life and start to implement them and the people that are not encouraging you to maintain your boundaries are going to be the people that need to see their way out of your life or deal with the consequences of your boundaries um you guys are super funny and fun to be around and a true pleasure so it's really important that you just live in that nature. Do the things that make you happy, bring you joy, and that is what's going to feel like success to you. That is how you're going to seek fulfillment. So your purpose is going to be in to be enlightened and to enlighten other people through you. So just be yourself, maintain your authenticity, be happy and don't be too hard on yourself, 11. And, you know, just maintain your passion for all things, guys. That's really all I had to say about Life Path 11s. I really hope I didn't leave anything out. It's, ho it's a little hard because I don't have a card to go off of, which is reasons that I'm not even going to discuss in this video. So... I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. Remember, if you want a personal life path reading where this is specifically based off of your energy only 
and it also inclu includes a portion for tarot as well then you know get with me at fullmoonbeauties.com go ahead and book a life path reading and until then i'll see you in my next video peace